Not to worry about that. Excellent. So, we're back. We might be popping in and out tonight. We'll see what is what, but lovely to have you with us. Um, And if I do lose you, I will make every single effort to come back to you just as soon as possible. I can assure you. So there you are. I'm glad to know that you think that uh, the picture's a bit clearer. As I say, we're trying on a new piece of kit tonight, just trying it out, just to see what people think about it. So there you go. That's what's happening there. Now, uh, as long as you can hear me and as long as you can see me, that's the important thing. Malcolm Wilson's watching. Thank you, Malcolm. And uh, VJ Dukaram, lovely to have you with us. Thomas Hamilton watching. Excellent stuff. Marvellous things, folks. So there we go. Now, if it does drop out, we'll just pop back to you. As I say, we're trying out new equipment. Do Gurley there. Douglas McPherson. That's me checking in, Mr. McClure. I'm listening in but can't comment as I'm getting on with the ironing. Women's work. It's Father's Day for good to say, why are you doing the ironing on Father's Day? Good evening, Scotty, says Ben Lucas. Good evening to you, Ben. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. And we are, of course, live on the big one. Facebook Live, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. Carl Mike McCusker's watching, dinky do. John Kinnear, Alistair Monroe, dinky do to you, Alistair. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and I'm saying dinky do to you. A shout out for my daddy, Frank, please says Mark Hunter. Of course, Mark, a great privilege and a pleasure so to do. Hi, Scotty, how's you? High definition camera, clearest video yet, says Ben Lucas. Good, Ben, excellent stuff. Susan Forrest is watching. Dinky Doo from Lancashire there, marvellous to have you with us. We are trying out new kit, guys. If you like it, give us some feedback. Looking good, Scotty, says Stephen Butman down. I thank you, sir. And Dinky Doo, thank you to every single one of you. Two and a half million of you have put up with the old equipment and thank you to all of those who generously contributed to Scotty McClure to PayPal and GoFundMe and it helps Scotty 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 oi 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 says Matthew Ritchie looking good pal nice to see you and hear you can everybody see me and hear me that's the most important thing Nicola Jane's watching Gary Porter excellent stuff come and join us and spread the word tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten the Scotty clue is live on Facebook Live just for you saying dinky do. Question for you Scotty, if you could choose any three people to sit down and dinner with who would you select? Do they have to be living or can they be in the past as well? Yes, says Matt Webb. Good you can hear me and see me Matt. That's excellent. That's what we need. Also, we're going to be doing a lot more streaming on YouTube. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. This is moving very, very fast tonight guys. Lots and lots of you on and I say to you, dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Anyone you like, says Bodie Conley. Yes, but can they be living or can they be dead? I don't know. So there we are. Love to have a conversation with Jesus. Love to have a conversation with God Himself, His Father. Dinky do, says Sean Marriott. And um, would probably like to have a word with uh, Mother Teresa. And uh, a word with Winston Churchill just to see what his thinking was. So there we are. Some lovely people watching. Dinky do. Living or dead, says Body Conley. Yes. Uh, I think, uh, as I say, a word with Churchill to see what his thinking was. I would have a light to have a chat with Bonnie Prince Charlie. Hi, Scotty. How was your Father's Day? Lovely, lovely day. You'll see a picture of my lovely father. Can we have some interesting chat for a wee change, says Gordon Stilling. Now, Gordon Stilling, sometimes I think you can be a wee bit cheeky. So there you go. Could you say hello to my friend Teresa Green, says Matt Webb. Of course I can, Matt. Hello to Teresa Green and Dinky Do from Scotty McClue, broadcasting live on Facebook Live globally. So there we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, I'm glad you like the new kit. So there we are. William Cameron, Dinky Do, come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. We're talking about Father's Day of course and uh, if there's anything else you'd like to talk about please feel free to do so excellent stuff Roberto White come and join us lovely to have you with us you're watching Scott McClue and Dinky Do I say excellent so there we go now lots of sharing tonight guys we usually have a share at 15 minutes past the hour at 30 minutes past the hour and uh, 45 and then on the hour so the last thing we should be doing at the end of the Scotty McClue show is sharing 
thing. Share, 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 share. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, sir. Scotty says Alan Joyce. John Robertson there. Dinky do. Some people trying to ban Father's Day. Why would you ban Father's Day? I'm slightly concerned about the fact that they are phasing out people. And the feminists surely must be a bit concerned at uh, the loss of the term women, girl, female, all that sort of thing. Good evening, Scott. This is Catherine Murray. The pictures are much clearer, says VJ. Good VJ. Uh, it's a shame, though, because I was able to, to fudge my coupon. Do you know what I mean? I could make myself look uh, look uh, amazing, but can't do that anymore if I've got a much clearer picture. You say hi to my Miss Anne-Marie Scotty. Yes, I can indeed. Anne-Marie Dinky do. Thomas Hamilton, can you say hi to Miss Anne-Marie? I can, Thomas. Yes. Body Conley, do you know what happened to your old Scott FM colleague? We fat Bob. Not a clue, Body. Haven't heard hide nor hear. R.I.P. Leslie Grantham, a great actor. Yes, Steve, a great actor. Somebody was asking me when I last listened to uh, EastEnders, last watched EastEnders. Uh, Scott the answer to the question, is the term jock offensive to Scotch people worthy of being called racist? A jock? No, we're all jock Tamsons bairns, you see. I don't actually take offence, and remember, you can't actually give offence. You've got to take it. Mr. Marvellous comment there. Send me again. James Forbes, dinky do. Thanks, pal. Thomas Hamilton, camera lovely and clear, Scotty, says Alan Joyce. Excellent, Alan. Very pleased to hear about that. Sorry about the substandard equipment, but we we just couldn't afford, uh, you know, this big quality stuff. And uh, a lot of it's down to you beautiful people actually contributing on GoFundMe and PayPal. So keep it going, for goodness sake, and we will grow the show. Um, Cam's Needham, says Roberto White. Excellent stuff, marvellous stuff. So there we go. Paul Kyra, dinky do. Yes, I wondered if Den and Angie were still running the Queen Vic. That's what I said. Looking well, Scotty. I thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live, loud and clear on Facebook Live just for you, dinky do. Hemin Azizi says, Hi, Sandy Howden. Sorry I'm late, Scotty. Get held up by an SNP protest. I know they are protesting. Absolutely. Very, very important. So there we are. And uh, who else have we got? Chris Kelly. So there, that's excellent. I'll just stop that. Lovely. Are we touch there? There we go. Uh, Scotty, thought you'd be a millionaire selling McClure's pies. Hi, Scotty. Good to see you still going, buddy. I thank you very much. Finley Patterson's watching Dinky Do. Like a tie. What's the pattern? It's actually little monkeys. I am a Gemini monkey. So there you are. So these are little monkeys. Scotty, what do you think of the SNPs walk MPs MPs SNP MPs walking out of Westminster? I think they were right to do so I think it's very, very important. They did actually, they made a very important stance. If you're not being listened to, you have to go in a situation like that. And uh, I was very, very proud of them. I mean, I'm not political, as you know, I'm not necessarily pro SNP or any other political party. I do believe Scotland would do well independent on its own. We've tried the other out. RIP the SAPA. So there we are, Catherine Murray. Oh, Catherine Murray, I send you love. Bless the supper, I say. Paul Kyrie, hey, Scotty, what about a morning show? Uh, somebody, they use the Lord's name in vain, so I won't comment. Any news when you're going on the radio, pal? Says Thomas Hamilton. Uh, as soon as possible, Thomas. There's lots of meetings go on. Uh, no, they weren't. SNP, undemocratic. Don't be silly, whoever you are. What a silly, 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 silly comment. Uh, Scotty, for the next Prime Minister, says Stay Campbell. Stay Campbell, what a lovely thing to say. And dinky do, I say. Scotty McClue, if you've just joined us, the World Stop Broadcast. Sir. Scotty, would you ever consider reality TV? Imagine a celebrity big brother or similar with very intellectual Scotty. I did get into the final of going for big brother, but because I'd worked in television, they didn't want to risk it because they thought I might know what they were up to. Scotland will be free, says um, a lovely, lovely fellow.
Hello there. Wyatt just joined us. Dinky do. Scotty McClure, lovely to have you with us. It was a pre-planned stunt, Scotty. No, I don't think there's anything pre-planned. Terrific dignity, Sandy, as you see. Total dignity and not an embarrassment. So there we are. You and I uh, have to say hi to that. Everett Clifford is watching the Reverend Everett Clifford from the United States of America. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Spread the word, Everett. Now, what time have we got? We're just about coming up to a share. Andrew McVie says, hello, I honestly thought Scotty had popped his clock, says Donald Adad. Don't be ridiculous. Scotland will be free. It's only a time now. Build a wall on the border. They already tried that. Thought you were dead, says Jeff Smith. Why would I be dead, Jeff Smith? What's the point in that? Scotty on Love Island. So there you are. Would you like to see Scotty McClue in Love Island, ITV2? Marvellous stuff. Would all the pro-independence voters consider using Gaelic as our first language and create our own identity. Ha! Ah, there we go. Kamaraha u ha kamache. Falchi, falchi, falchi. Don Facebook Live. Uh, I guess Scotty McClure, SNP, SNP, Scotty, would you join a soap opera, says Andrew McVie. Yeah, I wondered if we could maybe do with something normal happening on Everdeal, just just normal stuff, just maybe a quiet night in at the pub, or a nice bit of news, a wee church service, so it's in Copeland Power, hi, lots of kisses to you, my darling, and all the dads and mums out there, says Dean Elson, Rosie Wilson, I thought you were dead, Rosie, don't be silly, how could that possibly be, bravo, says Body Connolly, just Smith says, no, I don't know what no actually means. I think it might be something, no, it can't be Scotty McClure. How marvellous is that? A wall 100 feet high, the English will never get over it. There we are. They haven't got over the last one, I don't think, to be quite honest with you. But I don't like anything anti English, so very much pro-English. It's uh, the Westminster Parliament that's not actually working for Scotland at the moment. Scotty, did Clan FM uh, ever get on, says Mark Finlay. Yes, I don't know. Uh, that's none of my business. Um, Harry Knollis is watching. Loads of people commenting the night. Scotty, you're the man, says Sandy Howden. Very, very busy, but uh, I'm glad you went uh, on an SNP demo, Sandy. Good for you. Never mind the football. Get the top load. McClure on. How are you, Scotty? Yes, it's amazing. Never mind that. I believe in independence, but I'd rather keep the English vocabulary, says Brian Morrison. So would I, Brian Morrison. What about bringing back Scotty McClure as the host of Blockbusters? Oh, yes, absolutely. Looking very high quality tonight, Scotty. And can I get the usual Sunday shout out? Love Jean Dream, Angela Jen Riddell. Yes, you can. See you on River City as the new Victor. That's not uh, Victor's not River City. It's still game. How about being a talk show host? That would be fantastic. Yes, that's what's happening. I am an international global talk show host. News flash. Oh, yes, you dodged that well, says Mark. Uh, Andrew Robertson. Uh, he's been cheeky. So I think what we'll do is we'll. Well, just get rid of him. There we are, Andrew Robertson, and he's gone. Uh, look like you're sweating, Scotty. Are you okay? Sweating? No, no, I'm not sweating. I'm just a bit shiny because we've got some new kit, you see, and uh, everybody likes to see it. Dinky do. If you've just joined us, a very warm, warm welcome. So I'm almost practicing my German there. So, nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. So there we go. Well said, Scotty, anti Westminster and the rich elitists, although we must take the royal family with us if we become independent. Very important. Scotty, please, can you sing happy birthday to Kieran Kezer McPhee? Well, I can't sing happy birthday because it's um, copyright, but what I can do, mine through the keyhole. Love your tie, says Thomas. Dinky do. That's the, the Gemini monkeys. That's what they are. I love my English friends. It's the Tory anti Scottish that makes me a supporter of Scotland regaining its independence, says Mike McCabe. Well, I think you could be right, Mike McCabe. Uh, Scotty, were you ever an English teacher? Your enunciation is impeccable. Yes, I have taught English and still do on an occasion, Alan Joyce. So there you are. Uh, class, no heard of him in 20 years, says Robert Spears. Dinky do, Robert. Parliament cannot tie the hangers on. So there we are. Uh, Alan Cadden, dinky do. Can we have a share, guys? We need to share. Share, 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 share. So there we go. And um, it's not... 19 minutes past. Can everybody share this? And type, 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 type. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you saying dinky-doo. 
Scotty, what's your views on the Orange Order parades in Scotland? Well, what I notice is a lot of the hate comes from the objectors. Don't walk out on us like that, SNP. Definitely a warm welcome with this weather. The new kit's working brilliantly. Great to see you again. Thank you for that. Done it, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. Can everybody else share, guys? I can see if you're sharing or not here, so get sharing. Share, 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 share. Scotty McClure, live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky do. So, uh, excellent stuff, the Growth Commission. Scotty, what's the topic tonight, buddy, says Kevin Kerr. We're talking about Father's Day, Kevin Kerr. Is it uh, a good way to celebrate fathers? And obviously, I wish everybody happy Father's Day. I was very, very, very lucky. I had a cracker of a father, because remember, you can choose your friends. You can't choose your relations. So, uh, you know, it's just luck if you get wonderful parents, and I was very, very lucky. So there you are, a great father, uh, a very practical man, a wonderful musician, wonderful engineer, and a lovely, lovely father to spend time with. Uh, I've got England in the World Cup sweepstakes, Scotty. If I win it, you'll be hearing about it for the next 50 years. Gary Crossan, thank you. If you make a lot of money, pop some into Scotty McClure, gofundme.com. Uh forward slash, sorry, forward slash, yes, Scotty hyphen McClue. Where is Scotty McClue day? Says Chris Kelly. I know, Chris, we should actually have a Scotty McClue day. How amazing would that be? Father's Day is a commercial farce. Every day you should celebrate being a father. Absolutely, Body Connolly. A very, very good comment from you, dear boy. Now, guys, very important, can you spread the word that Scotty McClue broadcasts every Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp on Facebook Live. All right. Sunday night, nine o'clock sharp, Facebook Live. Who do you think will win the World Cup, Scotty? Oh, Ross. I can't really predict that. That's huge. Just have a sip of water, guys. Ugh. I'm jealous, says Dave Harley. My father's in Spain, lucky guy. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Wonderful. And remember, you might get a tune on the pipe organ if you're very, very good. Every Sunday is your day, says Colin Roger. Every day is Scotty McClue Day, Dinky Doo Day. This show is massive, guys. Two and a half million people have seen it since we started. We're now at show number 98. Uh, do you think the Orange Walk should be kept in the one place like Glasgow Green instead of walking a Catholic area of Glasgow? Well, I think the important thing is the Orange Lodge are defending the Crown and the Bible. All right? Now, you know, they sort of came into being when it was William on the throne. So it happened to be a Protestant monarch, right? So you've got that William Wallace Day. Now, the thing about the Orange Lodge, right? A lot of the hate seems to be coming from those who are against the Orange Lodge. You've got to remember that um, this is their view, right? And I think if you just kind of let it flow and don't sort of start streaming all sorts of hate speech back about the Orange Order because it was um, William Pitt as Prime Minister. And when Ireland was thinking and really getting together with terrific strength, Ireland was one country at the time and may well be again. And uh, he said, uh, they said, what are you going to do about Ireland? Because it's a threat to this country because it's so powerful. And the working man and the Irish aristocrat are all getting together. And uh, William Pitt said, I will use the Orange Lodge to divide and rule. And I would say the Orange Lodge is still being used as a pawn in the game to divide and rule. So uh, the best thing to do is just ignore it, actually, I would say. There you are, but you can tell us what you think. Not a problem either way. All right, Scotty McClue, just for you folks, dinky-doo. And um, I shall work out what to do with this new kit, and we'll get some more things involved. How good would that be? Uh, follow Scotty McClue, and remember, you'll get me on YouTube as well, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. I'm going to do some broadcasting. You should be on every day a week. It's too long to wait. Well, Steve Burrows, you'll see that we did a couple of pop-ups this week, Monday and Tuesday, so look out for them. 
I think what you've got there will be uh, show 96 and show 97. Very important. Scotty, just told to get on the stream and get involved. Hard to ignore the orange watch when they walk about banging drums. Yeah, but I mean, those drums been banged on any march, right? I mean, you go out to uh, to an SNP march, right? Or an independence march, uh, I should call it actually. An independence march. March for independence of Scotland. You'll get banging drums, you'll get bagpipes, you'll get singing, dancing, you'll get the lot. And that's just peaceful, uh, you know, that's just peaceful protest. The pop-ups were brilliant. Thank you, buddy. Uh, fascist, says somebody calling me a fascist. So there you are. The ways, uh, we could honestly see a United Ireland again, all but the borders. It's all down to EU negotiations. Well, you see, I think the uh, Brexit mob will break Britain. So Brexiteers are the real separatists. They're the ones. And I was thinking today, perhaps the Scottish Nationalist Party wasn't the right term to come up with. Maybe a nationist party might be slightly different because Scottish nationalism is the antithesis of English nationalism. So there we are. Uh, very, very important. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching the world's top broadcaster, Scotty McClue, and the first lord of the internet, broadcasting live for you on Facebook Live. Now, we do it every Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Is your favorite it's going to explode your yeah, big orange or something like that, says Gary Heaps. <coughs> Let's hope not, Gary. So there we go. And um, it's wonderful. What about your own face? Let's have a swatch at your coupon. Hmm. Then we'll see what's what. Love you, Scotty, says Audrey Titchen. Thank you, Audrey. Dinky do, I say, and four hearts now. I want more hearts, please. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, de tap. Let's have more hearts and let's have more thumbs up. Let me know if you can hear me and see you, uh, or you can see me. Injustice at the end of the day produces independence. Voltaire, Voltaire, wonderful thinker. Marvellous, marvellous man. So there you are. And uh, my car has 12 volts. Uh, fear for Brexit is for the multinational companies' uncertainty of the trading interests, not for you or I, the normal person. Looking good, says Katrina Murphy. Thank you, Katrina. Very much appreciated. Ian Robertson, I thought he was dead. Why does everybody think I'm dead? I'm a young man. Wonderful water, you know. Wonderful water. Wonderful water. Tremendous stuff. So there you are. Spread the word, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10. 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure globally and internationally around the world. What about those Dundonian single mothers? Well, Dundee, of course, has got the kettle boilers. Now, you'll know all about that, but the kettle boilers were the men in Dundee. The women went out and worked in the mills. The men stayed at home and boiled the kettle. Great viewing, Scotty, says Graham Ferguson. Thank you, Graham. Very, very much appreciated. And dinky do. Hear and see you loud and clear, says Steve Burrow. We like that, Steve. Dinky do, excellent, and thank you for that. Move your head, Scotty. I want to see your photo. That one there. There you are, Sunday. That's that one. Marvelous stuff. Hi, Scotty. I've missed your friends. This is Debbie Sapphire Thomas. Lovely to have you with us, Debbie Sapphire Thomas. That's all the ironing done, says Douglas McPherson. Kathy Blake's watching. Come on and join us, Kathy. You have nothing to fear about watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. Everybody is doing it. Dinky dinky doing it. That's what it's all about. Dinky do. And we'll get the call sorted out so we can take interaction from you guys. Uh, lovely to hear you, Scotty. Hi, Scotty. We're listening from Cowden Beath. What do you think of the MP who objected to banning up skitting? I personally thought it was shocking. Yes, I'd like to know exactly why he did that. It's a strange thing to do. Hi, Scotty. Keep up the good works. This is Stephen Murphy. Dinky do, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. Share, Scotty McClure every day. Share, 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 share as much as you can. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that we are here live on Facebook Live. So there we go. Uh, live in your hoose just for you is back in the game. Will it ever be the same? Scotty FM, our first minister. Could it be Dinky Deer? Ronnie Stevenson's watching. A very fine fellow. Dinky Deer, Ronnie Stevenson. Lovely to have you with us now. I'm just working on another device here, guys. I'm going to do a bit of sharing myself for you. So there you go. If every single one of you can do that, though, it's very, very important. We're coming up to our share point right now. Hello, Scotty. Palette shared. Uh, interesting your thoughts about the poor boy who had his 
CBD removed from his mother to treat his seizures. Yes, yes, well... I think the future of medicine, allopathic medicine, the future is going to be genetic, genetic medicine. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Um, so that's what's happening there, guys. Hi, Scotty. This is Mark Jones. Hi, Mark. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Dennis Galloway says hello. Hello, Dennis. From Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Baldy, he got it back, wee Billy. How much do you pay? Uh, Sandy Howden, not a fan. So there you are. Uh, Diggy McDonald, that accent. Evening Scotty from Orkney, says Ronnie Stevens. And oh, up with the Arcadians, Ronnie. Wonderful stuff. I hope you're not too bothered with the wind. As in stem cell transplantation, says Bodhi. I know, Bodhi, that again, the future stem cells. I do love the idea. You know the way McClure's always been ahead of his time, like we brought in a particular brand of radio, and of course they don't do it now. They've all run away from it, but it's massive. Can you say hello to my partner, Ruth, says Kenny Og. I can, Kenny Og, not a problem. Dinky do. Hi, Scotty, from sunny Bournemouth. Hello, how are you getting on? Now, I'm just going to do a bit of sharing here, guys, so stick with me. So there you are. Uh, he got his... CBD oil. Hi, Scotty. This is John Anderson. Christine Garvin there. Fantastic stuff. Yes, I know, Christine. Absolutely. Very, very important. Right. We've got uh, such an incredible return here, guys, tonight. It's lovely, lovely, lovely to have so many of you with us. Hello, Scotty. A big shout out to Tom Hamilton on the Beryl Alpha, says Dennis Galloway. Absolutely, Dennis. No problem at all. Now, just bear with me, guys. What I'm doing here, I'm sharing so that you lot can get this as well. Share. There we go. And I shall share to a group. I'll share to the Scotty McClure group, and then you've all got it. And as I say, if you can do the same as well, that would be terrific. So there we are. Marvellous stuff. That's going out now. And uh, we should see a difference. Everybody's got that. So it's going out right now as we speak, guys. And um, I hope you're doing the same. Share, 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 share. There we are. And that's that. Right. That'll do just now. If you do too much sharing on Facebook Live, they don't like it. Scotty, what about the SNP funding? Oh, I missed that. Say it again. Do you think Martin was right to shout at his maw for not getting the tea cakes? That's plenty, says Louis Conway. Yes, absolutely, Louis. Uh, and I've just done that. I'm just also going to share... Um, the post now, so that's gone up to the top, it'll just let everybody on Facebook know that we're live and that that's going out right now and then also I'm going to um, share to my new business page, now guys, if you would like Scotty McClure, thanks Susan Copeland Powered, big kiss you Christine Garvin uh, divided schooling isn't the problem Mark, says uh, Gary Steele, quite right Gary Steele, uh, so guys I've got a new business page on Facebook, and if you'd like me to come and open your shop or your store, be on your television program or your radio program, if you want to interview Scotty McClue, then uh, like two grumpy critics, you can, two grumpy critics, they interviewed Scotty McClue, a massive, massive interview. Richard Price, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Ainsley Rigby, um, love from all the kangaroos. So he's in Australia. Excellent stuff. He's down under. Uh, so there you are. So I'm just going to share on the new business page, folks. Very, very important that you all get that. And I'll just say live now. Live now and uh, let everybody know. Uh, and we'll get the word out there. So if you're all doing the same, that is terrific. So what is the problem? Says Mark Finn. I don't know, Mark. What is the problem? You seem to have a problem. I don't have a problem. Uh, and uh, if anyone's got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's their problem. I like, 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 like he likes, says Robert McHardy. Thank you, Robert. That was a lovely thing to do. And I'm also just going to share on uh, another page as well. There's a few... Facebook pages out there. Um, what's your take on the new Iron Brew, Scotty? I haven't actually sampled it, dare I say, but the main brands in Scotland at one point were Iron Brew, Bars, Bars Iron Brew, uh, Radio Clyde, uh, Tunnock's Caramel Wafers, 
and Scotty McClure. And they were the main brands of Scotland. Greetings, hey, Scotty. How are you doing? Are you getting the squeeze box out tonight? I may well do that just for you guys. I don't see why not. So I'll just put live now. There we are. And send this round, guys. And then you've got it. All right. So we're sharing to uh, on the page. And the page is Scotty McClure. And there it goes. Live now. Right. That's enough sharing for just now. Um, and thanks very much to every single one of you. Don't forget Soul Ripe, says Brian Morrison. Yes, lovely Soul Ripe. Garvey's Lemonade from Mill Guy. Lawson's Lemonade and Greenock Middlemas Lemonade in the Borders. A tremendous lemonade companies. Lemonade was a lovely, lovely thing. Jagger's Lemonade. Also in Greenock. Scotty, you forgot. Robertson's Red Cola and Cremola Foam. Much Miss Brands. Do you remember? Cremola Foam. Hello from Paisley, says Peter Ewing. Dinky do, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live globally, internationally, just for you. You agree there should be a public inquiry into the GSA fire, and it should be restored fully. Well, we'll see. Leave it just now till we see what's actually happened there. Once we get uh, the Chief Fire Officer's report and uh, any other reports from the emergency services, then we can see what's to be done. When will Indy 2 be called, says Martin Monaghan? I would have said not quite ASA, well, ASAP, yes, because that uh, gives a little bit of breathing space. But we need to get the message across to Westminster that it's 50-50 between Scotland and uh, the rest of the UK. All right. Cremona Forum, I'm sure you can still get in certain places. Devastating for Scotland, says Christine Garvin. Yes, it is. And Rennie McIntosh, we need to make a lot more of that guy. Uh, have you heard the news, says Ainsley Rigby? Um, I don't know what particular news you're talking about, Ainsley. Uh, I wouldn't have heard news just in, says Ainsley. So there you are. There should be no development on the site, though, says Brian McNeil. Well, I think it would be lovely to see the art school rebuilt. I hope all of you have visited it at some point. An old friend of mine was very prominent as a lecturer there some time ago. Very, very famous architect who built a lot of ecclesiastical buildings in Scotland. News just in, says Ainsley Rigby. Do let me know, Ainsley. Very, very important if it's genuine news and uh, we will see what is what? If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, broadcasting live on Facebook Live for you, saying dinky do. David Lafferty, lovely to have you with us. Ainsley Rigby says, Scotty's back. Oh, if that's the news, spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 100 to tell 100 to tell 100 to tell 1,000 to tell 1,000. What do you think about the SNP Westminster scenario? Sean McConnick, I think it was a massive display of dignity. I think it was very, very uh, sensible to actually do that because uh, they weren't getting hurt. Why are we such a highly taxed nation? So there you go. Uh, Car looks the best place ever, says Ainsley Rigby. I have to say, it is a marvellous place. I know Car look well. You would have seen Scotty McClure live on a Saturday morning in the square at Car look. It was the man with the bonnet who'd done it. Alan Cadden, what do you make of Gordon Brown's new prediction of doom for an independent Scotland? Well, the last time Gordon Brown made that kind of prediction, remember we've had 20 years of doom and gloom, first from uh, New Labour, so a lot of his policies, and we had a war. And then we've had another 10, 11 years of doom and gloom with austerity. So we've had lots and lots and lots of doom and gloom. And uh, I, I remember his last big speech just before Indiref won. And that kicked his party in Scotland right into the wilderness, perhaps forever. Have you ever been on a plane, Scotty? Yes, yes, I know quite a lot about planes. What would you like to know? Wishy is the best, says Tom Conway. He is from Wishy. Wishy. Uh, Wishy is Wishaw. Excellent stuff. When can we get you back on the radio, says Chris Bavaird. As soon as possible, Chris. There are negotiations going on, and we'll get the phone-ins back. 
Uh, so there we go. Well said, Scotty, on the walkout, says Ian Johnson. So there we are. And um, what's your take on drug centres for junkies? Do you think it will lower the crime rate or make it worse? Well, we are talking about this last week. I was very, very upset about the old ladies, one at 90 and one at 100, being attacked by thugs and very, very badly beaten, beautiful innocent, gentle, elderly people living their lives attacked by mindless, thoughtless thugs. Now, we don't know if they were off their face and drugs or drink. It doesn't matter. We cannot have our elderly being attacked like that. It's not just a crime. It's a massive sin against humanity. Uh, so there we are. Uh, what have we got here? didn't see that. Um Buddy Conley, uh, I'm not actually going to answer that question on here. That's for people who are much higher than my pay grade, as they say. And uh, beasts should be beasted, says Brian Morrison. Yes, but as the great Mahatma Gandhi said, if you take an eye for an eye, the whole world will be blind. Can I do a walk out at what next week, says Douglas McPherson. Sure you can, Douglas. Don't expect to get paid, though. Uh, would you work with the police, Scotty? Um, Kieran Carroll, what, in what respect? You would need to tell me in what respect. Bonnie Connolly says, OK. No, not at all, Bonnie. It's just that one's not for me to answer. So there we are. Um, Ellen McGuinness is watching Dinky Doo. You're all watching Scotty McClure. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Would you like me to play you a tune on the squeeze box or the pipe organ? It's up to you. I don't mind either way. So there we are. Just going to share again, guys. We want to share. Marvel stuff. There we go. Uh, sharing right now. That's very much appreciated. Here's Julina Regina Grossi Ross. Julina Regina Grossi Ross. Hi, Scotty, she says. Hello, Julina Regina Grossi Ross. What's happening, Trips, says Larry Conway. Didn't you do? Um, both says Julina Regina Grossi Ross. On the bagpipe, Scotty. Hmm, squeeze me, says Christine Garvin. Lovely thing to say. Do you do blanket on the ground, says Billy White. Depends who I'm with, Billy, I have to say. Squeeze box, Scotty. How about the wild mountain time? The pipe organ, says Steve Burrows. So there we are. You are a sweetheart, says Julina Regina. Uh, Grossi Ross, I tell you. He, he's a bag of wind, says Mark Finley. Mark Finley, I think you're actually going to get um, blocked. That's what we'll do with you. Uh, you're a whopper mate, says Stephen McMillan. Can you play the Mithy, Scotty? Phil Jones Hammerley, I can play the Mithy. I don't have one. I once got burgled and they took the Mithy. So they, I think it was the only thing of value in the house. Uh, like it, Scotty, says Billy White. Excellent, Billy. Lovely to be with us now. Can I have some feedback on the equipment tonight? We're trying out new kit tonight, guys. Is it better than the last lot? Do tell. So spill, 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 spill. You remembered I was Italian. I am impressed. Yes, of course, of course. I say to you, I don't know to speak long to. I can speak allegretto. Should the government and councils be doing more on the rise in the poor, misfortunate homeless community? Yes, it's a piece of nonsense in this day and age that we have homeless people, that we have people starving, that we have people begging on the street. It is a national disgrace. Uh, no, you didn't. Eh? The new kit, superb Scotty, says Derek Miller. Constructive criticism, says Mark Finley. Mark Finley, you've never said anything constructive or critical to me in your life. Uh, my pal tried a new kit in Glasgow. He died of an overdose. Yes, not so good. What classic Scots comedy film would you remake? Restless Natives or Gregory's Girl? Well, the thing is, there's a remake of, um, of uh, oh, Whiskey Galore. I watched that. It's very nice. So there you are. It's a lot better and cleaner, Scotty, says Steve. This is better, Scotty. I can hear you and see you. Marvellous stuff. That's what we like. More sharing. Go on. Share, share, share. Um, what I'll do, guys, I'll uh, do this one now. Uh, so, right. Uh, you'd like a tune, would you? Now, do you want a tune on the squeeze box? So there we are. Or do you want a tune on the pipe organ? There's the squeeze box. Right, we can manage something on that for you. A lot better, clearer, Scotty, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, I don't think that we should be remaking a lot of these Scottish classics. Certainly not stuff like Gregory's Girls, a one-off. And the wonderful Chick Murray, a Greenock man from Bank Street in Greenock. Chick Murray. How's the dog, Scotty? Well played, pal. Sir Thomas Hamilton, thank you. Chick Murray was in it. And he was the head teacher in the school. Did you see him? And two wee ones were hearing him playing the piano. And they said... Um, uh, he, he turned around and went, go away, small boys. So there you are, wonderful stuff. And um, ITV term, so there we are, Scottish ITV, that's what it's about. Um, of course, McClue worked for ITV for many years. Scotty, you do a charity boxing match. And would you like to get in the ring? That wee smile was like you just let one go when playing that. Well, yes, it's difficult to uh, get your expression right. You talk about the accordionist's smile because you're counting so you just have a smile except for the lovely jimmy shand he never bothered with any of that he just sat with a straight face and played beautiful beautiful music and became the biggest selling artist of all time how's the fox scotty's to say the fox is beautiful you'll see him a wee visitor to mcclure towers uh, are you a fan of the great george galloway uh, i have to tell you george has blocked me on his twitter his show is the mother of all talk shows and I said your show might be the mother of all talk shows but Scotty McClue is the daddy of them all I don't think that went down too well I have to say so there you are but I got blocked on Twitter so I was quite chuffed about that that I got blocked by such a famous person <coughs> Scotty what's your favourite music genre oh John Burns anything at all love the pop love the classical love the jazz uh, any chance for a wee bit of McPherson's rant you look like Jack Face Still Game well there you are well I was around before Still Game guys so draw your own conclusions um, so there we are Walter Moffat dinky do uh, if I offered to do a charity boxing match who would you like to get in the ring with oh interesting one that um, I might get in the ring with uh, with uh, Theresa May so there we go charity boxing match with Theresa May what about that there well you've got to remember that McClure is uh, quite a tough guy so there you are so maybe maybe somebody else superb Scotty says John Buds all music John anything you like McClure likes that music so there we are uh, in fact I had a wee number I was going to play you all in the pipe organ and I want to I want you to guess the tune alright so quite important but you need to guess the tune so you've got to tell me what this is. Now, it's um, it's a wee hymn, and it's quite often a Christmas hymn, all right? So it's a wee Christmas hymn. There's a lady called St. Clair that said, what's going on with Facebook? She said, you just popped up tonight. Well, there we are. Well, if I popped up, get going there. It's your lucky day, uh, Miss Sinclair. Theresa May, the only person who keeps her Halloween mask on all year. Oh, that's a bit harsh. So there we are. Knock a block off, Sister Nicole. Stop it, you lot. So there we are. Right. Uh, so, fantastic stuff. I am actually a black belt in karaoke. I can tell you that. Right. Uh, I'm bringing this over. I hope that it's working. Yes, we seem to have it working, right? Now, I'm going to go on the pipe organ, and you've got to tell me... It's not easy. This is not for the faint-hearted guys. You've got to tell me if you know this tune. Are you ready? Tell what that one is. Is it the theme tune to Crossroads? Says so Stephen Fessel. Sean McCormick, Grace. So there you are. No, it's not that one. So there we are. See if you tell me what that tune is. Does DJ Bad Boy sing it? Says Louis Conway. So there we are. We might get him to. Are you tone deaf, Scotty? Pardon, Sandy? What were you saying? 
Uh, this is uh, Derek Bruce type of music. Scotty, I miss you on the radio. So it's Connor Machen Fichner. So there you are. Connor, Connor Fichner. Lovely to have you with us. Have I said your name right? So there we go. Paul Maguire has left us a comment. Dinky do. Right. What are we doing for time, guys? For goodness sake. So there we are. Oh, have we shared again? Can we do some more sharing, please? Share, 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 share. How do you get a hanky to dance? Oh, I missed that. You'll have to see me again. The theme tune from Last of the Summer Wine, Phil Jones Hammersley. I used to stay along the road from Last of the Summer Wine, and I can remember them filming it in the garden of the place I lived so there you are, caravans, Peter Salas and uh, Frank Thornton, marvellous people like that. Uh, Danny Powell says Thomas Hamilton, yes, lovely Thomas, excellent stuff. None of that nonsense, Scotty, let's get the jigs and the reels going. Right, <coughs> now, your thoughts, uh, so Scotty, can you say hello to Derek Bruce? A fine manager, a very good chap. Put some boogie in it, Scotty. So there you go. Yes, well, we'll try it, Brian Morrison. What we could do is uh, a bit of this. Let me see what we've got here. Um... <laughs> Okay, there's a wee number for you. A little bit of boogie. We'll get some boogie going. Do not fash yourself. Do not worry yourself. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, Scotty McClue, live just for every single one of you. Never, ever, ever miss a moment of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. <coughs> so there we go. Lots and lots from you. Uh, Billy White, Dinky Doo, the American flag there. Oh, yes, Don's early light. Blazing saddles, your madman, says Sandy Stevenson. No problem at all, Sandy. Anything, anything music, McClure can play it just for you and say dinky do. Now, if you've just joined us, bit of housekeeping. This is show number 98. So only two more shows to go till show 100. Two and a half million people have witnessed it live on Facebook Live. That's not bad for just a wee guy like me. Hey, only kidding, says Charles McLaughlin. Not at all, Charles. No problem at all. Remember, we discuss lots and lots of things. We don't like bad language, of course. Anything like that. Labour are finished in Scotland. So are the Tories. Yes, Scotty. Does he have a clue, says Louis Conway? Oh, I don't know about that. Alan Brown on Dinky Do. Stephen Nolan <coughs> sends me a union flag for some reason. Riyadh Al Ali 99. Show number 99. No, this is this not number 98. Did we not agree? Yes, is it 99? It's excellent stuff. There's SITV Tam. Should Esther Ranson. Um, says, it, what's that? I didn't miss that one, Esther Ranson. Lovely lady, I've interviewed her. Say hi to wife Tracy Dinky Doo Scotty. This is James Adamson, Tracy Adamson. Dinky Doo. Shakes he'd last still watching. God yourself saw, says Robert Lecky. You going to the Royal Highland Show, Scotty? Well, do you know, I've got a birthday coming up this week, and for my 40th birthday, I was at Scott FM, and I was at the Royal Highland Show. I'm still wearing the shoes aboard. So there we are. Hey, bro, says Stephen Nolan. Scotty, what do you charge for voiceovers? Paul Maguire, it depends entirely on your budget and what you want done. And what we think we can do for you to bring in some serious pennies. Good night, pal. Have a good week. See you next Sunday. <coughs> Dinky do, Scotty, from Preston and Lancashire. Wifey Samantha says hi. Says Christopher Anthony Smith. Scotty, play the box. Says J.J. Young. Well, we'll have to go soon. <coughs> Happy Father's Day, Scotty. Can I come to you as for show 100? I'm a singer and I love your shows, Scotty, says Mark. Loving the hat, says Robert Mooney. You're still living on your means, Scotty. Yes, I am um, living hand to mouth. Be seeing you, says Frank Dyer, dinky do. If anybody wants to pop a couple of pounds into Scotty McClue's PayPal, go to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Well over 10 million people have visited the website. Site, you'll see the logo for PayPal and for GoFundMe. 
Papa McQuidden, are you a comedian? Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, well, I used to be a comedian, but people were laughing at me all the time. Another great show, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. I like your bonnet, says Louis Conway. I thank you, Louis Conway. Can we have another share, guys? Can everybody share this show? Share, 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 Scotty McClure. Um Scotty, you should look at getting your voice on the Tom Toms. Tom Toms, I think you mean the Tom Toms, says Brian. <clears throat> at the next street, turn right. Scotty, you should, uh, oh yes, <clears throat> are you Adele? So there we are, says Stephen Nolan. No, I'm not Adele, Stephen. You, you know, I, I wish I was. Then I wouldn't be disappointing you, would I, if I was Adele? How amazing is that? I'm just sharing here, guys. Scotty McClure Live, that's popped up again. How marvellous is that? Scotty, you need your own personal videographer. I'm your man. Up your production values, says Paul McGuire. Well, we're doing it all the time, Paul. I mean, for instance, if you look tonight, you'll see we're using better kit. Um, are you riding tonight, says Frankie Dyer. Uh, no, Frank, the horse is in his stable. Um, so there we are. <coughs> are you Adele's uncle, says Stephen Nolan. I don't know. Are you are you related to the Nolan sisters, Stephen? So there we are. Who knows? It's marvellous stuff. Watch that cough, Scotty, says Ian Johnson. No, 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 no. We're just, uh, it's very, very hot in the studio, Ian. His uncle, says Bodie. No, no, no. I don't think I'm the uncle. I can tell you that for nothing. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. You're very, 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 very lucky to see me. And also, people haven't seen me for years. So there you are. And um, it's marvelous to be back with you. So share this. Spend your whole week sharing it. Because what we're doing, we're building the world's top talk show just for you, Dinky Doo. And uh, marvelous stuff. Uh, let me know if you're there. Lots of thumbs up, please. Hey, Scotty, says Michelle James. Michelle Dinky Doo. Remember, you've got the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. I know, guys, very, very important. Get yourselves onto that. Do you like football? And if so, what team do you support? Um, do you have your gloves on, Sir Steve McPherson? No, don't have my gloves on, Steve. So there we go. Just the, the piano hands for you tonight. <coughs> Excellent stuff. Now then, who else have we got here? Uh, do let me know as soon as you can possibly see. And uh, what we'll do, we'll get some logos up. Excellent stuff. Um, Rangers, says Stephen Nolan. Are you, Stephen? Well, well, congratulations. You're still a BAM, says Chick Stroud. Thank you, Chick. I won't make a comment about you at all. So there you are. That's how thoughtful Scotty McClure is. And uh, once we get you lot interacting, guys, it'll be quite a show. Jamesy Boy says, Bummer. Why, what have you done, Jamesy? Have you just missed the first half of the Scotty McClure show? So there we are. Uh, now, I was just wondering, um, do you want me to do you a... Uh, do you think... What was that? Stevie G was wrong taking the Rangers job. Not at all. A jambo, says Alan Hogg. You're a jambo. Are you drunk, says David Allen. Uh, no, David, you mustn't judge everybody by your own standards. Scott FM, Scotty boy, Scotty. Hopefully you'll do a pop-up tomorrow. Can you give a shout-out to my pal Rob Cahoon, says Paul McGuire. Of course I can, Paul McGuire. Guys, is that any better? I'm just trying these things out. So there we are. I can't actually do it when we're live, so I have to put it back. I'll try it again uh, another time and see if we can do that. Do you know what the fastest cake in the world is? No, but you're going to tell me. Uh, so there we are. Do tell me. Tony Conway says, you're a legend. He's a tune, Scotty, says SITV Tam. I will do, Tam. <coughs> Very important. Uh, thank you, Tony Conway. You are a legend as well. Everybody knows Scotty McClure. I'm now one of the most famous people in the world. What about that? Bonnet boy, says James boy. Absolutely. Scoon, says uh, Scoon, says Steve McPherson. Oh, the fastest food, scorn, 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 scorn. Excellent. Sorry, Scoon. I was trying to think. What's the fastest town in Scotland? No. Um, hi, Scott, this is Thomas Ford. Lovely to have you with us, Thomas. And I like your spelling of Ford. Very, very aristocratic. I'll tell you that for nothing. Legend, Scotty, says Tam. All right, Percy, says Frankie Dyer. So there you are. Ha-ha! Class, says 
It's Jay-Z boy. James Z boy. McClure will always deliver you class. Never ever worry about that. Nairn. Lol, says Steve McPherson. And if we're talking northeast, for those of you who got Doric. Right? Sounds like a condition that the Dory. Uh, they're a good candy in the night. Excellent stuff. Only jokes cause says David Allen. Tune tune, says Billy White. A tune. We'll get a tune, Billy. Do not worry. Although we do have to go. Excellent stuff. Now, guys, been lovely, lovely, lovely being with you all tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for your comments on the new kit. Fit like, says Steve McPherson. Fit like yourself, Steve. Are you free, uh, Peter Heat? Are you free the broch? Uh, you're a legend, says David. Chun chun. Right, I'll play us out. I've got to go. Have a gorgeous week. We'll try and do a pop out. Who's that behind you? That's me. There you go. That's me behind you. And Lord Reith, the dog. Excellent stuff. I don't know if I can lift it up. And then there's another one there, you see. You can see all that. So there we are. Aberdeen. Excellent stuff. Aberdeen. You cannot beat it. Aberdeen. Nebod Cove. Actually, full your dues. Full your dues. Nosta Scotty says Julian Scott down in Wales. I say to you, Nosta. Oh. You're sin north. Just in Earth, excellent stuff. Right, guys, I'm going to have to dash. You won't let me go. Uh, you're all watching there. Scotty, you're brilliant. This is Thomas Fort. Thank you very much, Thomas. On a scale of one to five, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? I think uh, probably magenta is a favorite one. Purples, another one. Blue, yellow, green. Lovely stuff. Pink Floyd, money requested, says Paul Maguire. So there we are. Excellent. Great show tonight. Night night. Take care and God bless, says D. Gurley. I don't want to leave you guys, but have yourselves a fabulous week. Tell everybody about Scotty McClue. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue saying dinky doo to every single one of you. Hey Scotty, can you talk Chinese, says Kieran Carl. God bless, says Jamesy Boy. Yes, I can talk Chinese, Mandarin, so I would say Hun Ho Ni Ho. There we are. And uh, Ian Johnson, TC, ta-da, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. I'm going to sing you all the song now. Are you ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we to sing au revoir and a cheerio. Pipe organ for you, and I'll play myself out of ready. <laughs> Cheerio, my love, this is Scotty McClure saying, Dinky-doo.